Welcome to the second part of the Intel 4004 video. In this video we are going to fill two memory chips in bank 0 with data. For those who don't know how to address the memory in the 4002 RAM chip, I suggest that you watch the introduction video before this one. The link is in the info box. The view is pre-selected. Bank zero, chip zero, bank zero, chip one. Let's start with register zero here. Okay, first of all, we have to choose the memory bank. Well, actually, after a uh, CPU reset, memory bank zero is already selected. But to make sure that we are in bank zero, we are forcing the memory bank switch. CLB stands for clear accumulator and carry flag. And with designate command line, actually switching to RAM bank and it takes the value in the accumulator. Then we have to specify the memory itself. Fetch immediate. We're going to use um, register pair zero and putting zero in here. Um, just for the, the slash, the forward slash is, an, is a command, is a remark. Everything behind this forward slash is a remark. Um, just a quick review. It's a binary format. The chip selection is done with the most significant bits, two bits. The register selection is done with the next two bits and the memory or characters are done with the next four bits. Okay, um, then we have to send the register control, 0p, select chip and register, then we are going to write on the memory. It takes a value in the accumulator. Then we're incrementing the accumulator. Increment register A and here's write memory. Um, then we have to increment the memory location here. And there's a command which is called increment skip on zero. Increment skip on zero. So you can increment on the value here, a four bit value. You specify on the register, in this case, register one. Just a quick review. The pairing register zero is register O and one. 
So we're going to increment 1. Increment register 1. And if it, um, it's not 0, uh, it's jumping to an address. Let's call it loop, LO. Um, let's write the label LO. Um, the label should be ended with a comma. Okay, let's test it. Copying the code, resetting, pasting the value, stepping to the program, writing memory. Zero is written to register zero, location zero, incremented, like we incremented. Incrementing the address here, choosing the memory block and writing the memory. So we are stepping through the whole program. And F with the next increment of register one, um, it should skip. Step, yes. So it doesn't jump back to the loop. Now we can also specify the status registers. Let's do it. Right, zero write status zero, write one, write two, and write two, maybe we should increment the accumulator to have a different value. Okay, um, let's put an, a stop in here label stop and jump unconditional jump on stop endless loop so generating the code switching back reset loading and animate so now it's running in the endless loop here and we have added also the status registers. What we need to do now is um, fill up the next registers. Let's have a quick look here. So we have to increment this one. And this is register zero. Let's do an increment on this register. Okay. Let's increment um, register zero. And we should choose another register to increment let's take register pair 7 and uh, let's try it with E0 so I want to fill up two registers Increment skip on zero, register fourteen. Uh, 
and enter loop to loop. Uh, I mean, jump to loop. Let's have a look. Reset, load, animate. Okay, it filled up two lines. That's okay. So we're going back here and we have to add two. D command two, D, C. Test it again. Pasting the code, reset, load and animate. Yeah, works fine. Now we can switch to memory chip one. Uh, no, hold on. I will, I will also add the output ports. Okay, let's write the output ports. Um, incrementing the accumulator and writing, I think the command is write memory port. And let's increment the accumulator again. Generate. Okay. Switching back. Load and animate. So the outputs are also written. So the next step is to do the same on chip one. Okay. Let's overwrite uh, the zero pair, zero pair register with value for O. That would be chip select zero one, register zero, and four times zero. Okay. And then uh, let's jump, unconditional jump, let's call it loop zero, okay. Loop zero. So it will refresh the second chip every time. Reset, load, animate. Yeah, it's refreshing the chip, second fish, one, two, three, <laughs> refreshing the second chip every time. So we have to alternate between the two chips. Search. Okay, let's, let's check this. We have, we have to use another re register to alternate um, the chip. Increment, skip on zero. Let's take register 12 
if it's not a zero, it goes to chip two. And that's chip two. Okay. Select chip two. Uh, I want to do a comma. And if it's zero, then it has to jump to the begin. And let's specify the begin. Um, begin. And here we are adding register 12, that's register pair 6, and we're adding E0, so it's EF0. Um, let's generate the code. Resetting, pasting, load, animate. It's filling up filling up and filling up. Yeah, it's alternating between the two chips. We can run it in fast mode, run. Okay, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching and bye bye.